Hi guys, myself Limit and my team is Shrivatsa are here done with the project. So the title of the project is to display temperature and humidity value in ThinkSpeak using Node MCU. As you can see the circuit connections. So here we have used STM32 F103C6T6 that is blue pin and we have used a sensor that is DHT11 temperature and humidity sensor and we have used ESP8266 that is Node MCU and we have used FTTI to, to program the STM32 and we have used some connecting wires and a puff board. So here you can see the circuit diagram on, this, on your screen. So now let's look into the working of the project. First we need to do the circuit connections as shown in the above circuit diagram. Once the connections are done, remove the TX and RX pin of the ESP8266 that is Node MCU and upload the code for the Node MCU. Once the code is uploaded to Node MCU, connect TX and RX pin to the Node MCU module. Next upload the code to the STM32 module. Once it is uploaded, we can observe the temperature and humidity values in serial monitor. We are using thingspeak.com as our website and in that we are displaying output that is temperature and humidity values. Next we can extract temperature and humidity values in excel sheet of any hours of data. So guys we are using Arduino as a platform to write the code for both Node MCU as well as STM32. The both the codes will be given in the video description. Once we uploaded the code for both STM and Node MCU, open the serial monitor of the Node MCU. In this you can see the temperature and humidity values that is showing plus and these values are sent to ThingSpeak. So guys, open any browser and type ThingSpeak, you will land up into a website IoT Analytics ThingSpeak Internet of Things. Once you click that, you will land up into a page. It will show channels, apps, devices, support. In channel, you should create your own channel. We have created my own channel that will be in my channels. So once you click that, it will land up into this page. In that, we have created humidity and temperature monitoring channel. Once you click that, it will show the temperature and its plot and humidity and its plot. Once you, if you want to export the data of temperature and humidity, you should click export recent data. And in this humidity and temperature monitoring channel field, you have to click CSV. So a Excel sheet is downloaded. Once you click that, our temperature and humidity values are recorded. So this is our data. So, thank you guys.